today. From Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. It's a special Saturday edition of the NFL on EA Sports. see Mac Jones and the New England Patriots taking on Joe Burrow and the Cincinnati Bengals. EA Sports coverage of the NFL has us roughly midway between Boston and Providence. Everybody knows it as Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Today we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and the New England Patriots. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. It's been perfection so far. They come in here unbeaten at 14-0. And just two wins away from doing something only two teams have ever done. But the most important thing for them now is to make it to the postseason in one piece. Meanwhile, for the Bengals here, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. Now we get a first look at this Patriots offense, and of course leading them for his second season. Last year's Rookie of the Year runner-up out of Alabama, Mac Jones. And he comes to the end of the season leading the NFL in passing yards. And that's not necessarily something you set out to do at the beginning of the year, but it's a good illustration of how remarkable and consistent he's been all season. They'll run with a former member of the Crimson Tide, Damian Harris. And a short pickup to about the 25. A look at the numbers for Harris in last week's game. Just downright unbelievable. I mean, when you amass that many yards, I don't know what else to say. Personally, I thought it was a game for the ages for him. Ripped off some long runs in that contest, didn't he? He did indeed. Some very long runs. That total, scary. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a game of 16 for number 16. Barney sold the go route really well. He was going deep, then curled it back inside for a nice completion. DBs love when they pump the brakes, don't they? Yeah, that's really, that's really a whole lot cool. of fun. It's almost like you said, listen, if you're going to sell the go, just go. Let's see who's faster. And a tackle there by Jermaine Pratt. And despite injuries like these, Charles, with these guys missing, they've been able to keep that pursuit of perfection alive so far. That just shows the depth that they have on the roster and the guys who are serious about being ready when their number is called. Someone goes down. Someone jumps in, and they don't skip a beat. I think this team has a bunch of those guys, and some of them will be called out again this week. That burst good for 20 and a first down. How about that run? Picks up a first down. Note the enthusiasm in my boys. Remember, last week, AFC Offensive Player of the Week. I think he's trying to get another one in the fold. And you talked watching film a lot about his form and just hitting the hole, running north and south, as we like to say. And I, I think he's been doing that a lot recently. Squaring those shoulders and getting downhill. Looks for Parker, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengalsons are going to take over at their own 28-yard line. So far this season, this defense has had their issues against the pass, so that's a great sign for them to get the early pick. Yeah, hey, confidence builder for them and an absolute shock for the quarterback because he went into it. He saw the numbers we saw. He watched them on tape. I think he came into this one thinking this is going to be a big day. And it very well could be, but early in this one, advantage defense. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. Christmas Eve here in 2022, a big slate today of Saturday games. 
But we will have, ready for this, a triple header of action on Christmas Day tomorrow. I think it's pretty safe to say we won't have a white Christmas in any of these places, however. We start with the Packers and Dolphins in Miami at 1 Eastern. Then you got the Broncos and Rams from Los Angeles. And then finally, the Bucks and Cardinals at 820 Eastern in the desert. Plus one more for Goodman. And Burrow going to be hit and taken down. They got him. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. Well, last game he had two sacks. Got another one here, picked up right where he left off. Brandon, he spent the entire offseason working on new moves, new techniques, trying to add to his arsenal of pass rush moves. Certainly paying dividends of what we've seen so far. Throwing on second and long. Burrow, he gets this one to Boyd. Well, this defense for the Pats, they played really well in the win over the Raiders a week ago. And one of the key things you always look for when you're evaluating a defense is how opportunistic are they? How many takeaways do they get per game? And how about last week's game? That number? Six. Absolutely phenomenal performance. They were and he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Devon Godshaw getting in there and dropping it. They'll make that a second sack here on their first drive out defensively and not to get ahead of ourselves, but they're they're on pace for double-digit sacks at this point. Well, they're going to have to find a way to tamp that down, aren't they? So if you're the play caller, you're telling your quarterback maybe some screens, maybe some draws, hard count, use your voice inflection a little bit, anything to try and slow that pressure down. Found good room to run there, returns it 14 yards. And the Patriots take over. The Patriot offense heading back out as we take a look at the playoff picture in the AFC. And for them, it's no longer a question of will they make the playoffs. They've clinched the division title. The question, can they hold on to that number one seat? And this is where the mental fortitude comes to play, doesn't it? Because now you're not just the coach talking about it. It's team talking about it to each other, supporting each other, carrying each other along seed means everything in the NFL. It does. So even though the division title's clinched, shouldn't take the foot off the gap. No, not at all. Play it all the way through. And I think we've seen that in recent years in the NFL. The teams that play and play to win each and every game, they're the ones to deal with in the playoffs. But he's got Smith here. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And third and eight now. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. A bullet throw, but incomplete. That was their first third down try of the game, and clearly something was off in the execution of that play. Good news, they've got a whole game left to clean that up and start clicking on those key third down throws. Hunter Henry brings it in. And he is going to pick up a Patriots first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. I don't know if I agree with that. I guess they don't care if I agree with that. <laughs> but boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for this situation. But they either felt like they either had a play call on, or they're trying to show extreme confidence. Nine yards is the pick up there. They'll have a second and one. And Charles, you think about this offense, and it's kind of a tricky time of the season because you're 14-0, looking to see this one out to the end, but you start to run into situations where guys are getting a little banged up. Maybe could use some time sharing, some time on the bench, just to rest. How do you approach the rest of this regular season? I'm telling you, you don't ask the easy stuff, do you? I mean, you created a heck of a situation there, and actually you didn't create it. You presented it, and you're exactly right. It is tricky because your eye has to be on the ultimate prize, which is the Super Bowl. That's paramount. But at the same time, how much fun would it be to go down as one of the all-time great teams and join the 1972 Dolphins as the only undefeated team to win a Super Bowl? The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Now Jones. Got a man open. It's Devontae Parker complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. First catch for him on the afternoon, and it results in a first down. A little football one-on-one -on -one there. You just see the receiver try to run down the defender, meaning he goes right at him, and really trying to move him a little bit towards the center of the field so he can put his foot in the ground and break to the out to the sideline and make a catch. 
He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That's a strong pickup right there on first down, and as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Second down and four. Throwing Jones. Over the middle, he's got Myers. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. six points of the ball game. Do you go back to our meeting with the offensive coordinator and oh, remember yeah. what he told us? Absolutely. With some teams, I script to probe in the early part of the game. Other teams, I script to attack. They've been in attack mode for these ball games and continue that in this one. Full connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told, and it's finished off by a pass touchdown. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And there, of course, was a lot of talk about this ball game coming into play. Two division leaders in the AFC. Could this be a potential playoff preview down the line? Yeah, and I think when you're talking about the talk about this game coming into play, you're talking about me because I blew up your phone all week prior to this one. I was so excited about this game because, to me, it's not out of the realm of possibility that these two teams see each other again down the road. I like this matchup. They match up very well against each other. And the defense closes quickly there. He'll get maybe a yard to the 33. The numbers for Mixon last week, 15 carries, 70 yards, and a touchdown. Sitting 10th in the league and rushing isn't bad, but it's also not as high as where he knows he should be with how talented he is. There's definitely another gear there, and hopefully their game plan gives him an opportunity to hit it and put together one of his best performances of the season. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Now Burrow on first down. That one taken in by T. Higgins. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn it into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Burrow on third down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Brought down by multiple defenders, and it's a loss of 12. That's three sacks now, and that's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. On fourth down, Matt Arises sent on to punt. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. Here's Jones. A good return there, 17 yards. And they will take over first and 10. Offense returns to the field. There's the running back to Bruiser from Alabama, Damian Harris. Man, those numbers from last week. What do you call a game like that? Monumental? A, a Monument career game? Yeah, every one of those adjectives you can pull up. Monumental, mammoth, massive. But you also know that he wants another one just like it in this game. He doesn't plan on slowing down. Man, if he duplicates that, that would be history. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough in run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. 
So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. Harris running straight ahead. And he'll be stopped at the 27-yard line, well short of the first down marker. Three yards won't be enough here as that'll bring up fourth down. They'll try and throw for it here. And caught by Henry. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Defensively, a bit of a collapse, allowing the fourth down play to result in 23 yards. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front, but somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. From the 45 on second down, Jones. Very quick throw. He's got Myers. A busy first quarter. His third catch of the afternoon is a first down. On the give, this is Harris. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that feeling like, okay, I can stand up when the going gets tough in here. Meanwhile, Jones' throw there complete to Myers. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 13-yard line. A good pick up there, 20 yards. Somebody missed an assignment. He was waving his arms saying, uh, hey, I'm wide open. They found him. You think? You think? I mean, he was so wide open. Did you see he was just windmilling like he was Don Quixote or somebody out there? And then they found him for a really nice game. As expected, he's gone to him several times in this game, but that's the first time one has slipped from his grasp. I bet he goes back to him, though. He's an excellent player. On second down, this is Harris. And here he'll get it down to the seven. 65 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. On third down, here's Stevenson. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson, his eighth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are off to a 13-0 first quarter lead. Extra point up and good by Folk, and it's now 14 to nothing. So that one a long 11-play drive, and it was polished off by a Ramondre Stevenson touchdown run. This fielded right at the goal line. And the tackle going to be made right there at the 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. They find themselves in a good size hole here, in a good size hole early on in this game as they come up on first down. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. Let's face it, if you want to get back into the game, these are the kind of throws you've got to hit. He's wide open right there. Got to be able to get it to him, don't you think? And those are the throws that haven't been available to them every time he's dropped a pass. Yeah, that's a big miss. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Boyd. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped to have a guy who can turn it loose, and boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. And the Patriots are going to take possession of the football. That's what we've seen from this defense all year long because they've been so good at finding ways to take the football away. 
And it just gave us another example right here. A strong defense, that's something you're going to need to rely on come playoff time. And this crew has got one. There's no doubt about that, Brandon. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. To throw on second and six. Jones. Open man is Myers. And they're going to move it down inside the 25. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. They hand this off to Harris. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. To throw on second and six, Jones. Parker's got it for the Patriots touchdown. take a three touchdown lead week after week Charles when we see this offense operate I don't know they just seem to get more impressive they certainly do and let's face it it's no surprise they're the best in the NFL in scoring this team designs things well and executes even better and here it only takes a few snaps before they're in the end zone that's how they demoralize teams that's how they put them on notice So how about this for a start? 21-0 here in the first as they kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, CD, you kind of feel like they're in a bit of a danger zone right here because now you're down three scores. And I know we're in the first half, but... The way this offense hasn't been able to generate anything, you feel like they probably need to get something going on this drive, right? Yeah, and sometimes I overuse that this is an important possession, but I think this has to be the possession where they come up with an answer because only a few teams in league history have ever come back from a four-score deficit, and if they don't score here, that's what they could be facing the next time they get the ball. Throwing on second down, Burrow. This goes out wide for Mixon. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else. And now it's third and ten. And that's when it's fun to play defense. When you're able to diagnose a play right from the beginning, get all your guys to the football and spill the play, that's when you have a lot of fun playing on that side of the ball. Ball had his hands on it, couldn't bring it in. Pretty symptomatic of how this game's been going. Matt Arisen now on to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. So possession goes over here on the punt. And out will come the offense as they take over. And as this offense makes their way back out, it's AFC playoff race time as we give you a look. And they, as mentioned, unbeaten to this point in the year. But you think this game, their toughest test yet. I absolutely do because to me this is a good measuring stick game because they've been able to take advantage of the schedule but here this is another team leading its division with an eye on making a Super Bowl run so this game is crucial. Second and ten a very chilly day here but no snow and you know, I gotta say if it's gonna be this cold I want snow. You should see Charles face he's looking at me like I'm crazy and he's gonna get about seven yards on that one up to around the 33. But this play sequence was really kind of called in reverse. Incomplete pass on first and ten. Nice run on second and ten when probably everyone was expecting them to throw the football. Now if you're the defense, what are they going to do on third down? You're a little off balance. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. It's a pickup of six. That 
was a round run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw it, and was able to make the sure catch and put the down marker back to one. He'll take it past the 40 to the 41, second down. The last run good for two, here's second and eight. Off play action, Jones. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And the Bengals grab it. A lot of talk this, and now as with every potential turnover, they're going to take a second look at this just to make sure. Now the question, was the knee in fact down before this ball comes loose? And is the video convincing enough to overturn it? A lot of factors here. Remember, you also need good possession of the football afterwards. This is a tough one to overturn. So that one overturned. They say the knee was down, and that will not be ruled a fumble. Now Harris. And he'll get about three just outside the 10, stopped at the 11. Just not a whole... there on that carry no not at all they did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up Harris gonna get it again on second down and here he'll get it down to the seven and still about three yards shy of a first as the four yard pickup brings it to third down coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first on third and short they'll try and pick it up through the air but it's caught on the right side it's Smith and I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. Excellent job there defensively. Gave up the underneath to the tight end on third down, and they made sure that they did their job. Got him on the ground and prevented him picking up a first down. The folks' kick is good, and the route is on. It's 24 to nothing. So they're content to take the three. Somewhat of a conservative call. They're opting not to go for it on fourth and inches. And that's from a team that you and I know is not usually playing it close to the vest. It's a little bit of a surprise that they opted for the three instead of going for it. After the made field goal back out is Nick Folk to kick this one off. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're down. You don't down. want to. Well, no, but uh, hold on, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, it I think you just called it desperation time. I think <laughs> yeah. you did. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating, to use a boxing analogy. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. The Pets are going to get there. Down he goes. Lawrence Guy. Credit him with a sack as he buries him for a loss of 10. So that now four first half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. Your partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's the game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. Meanwhile, Burrow's throw here on target to Hurst. It'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll force upon him a third and 14. Now it's Burrow. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And here's Matt Ariza now. 
And averaging 50 yards a boot so far as this one's away. And he'll get credit for putting him inside the 20 as the fair catch is made right at about the 19-yard line. A 40-yard punt, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Running back Damian Harris to the Patriots ready to go on their next drive here. He's in a zone, second quarter, already closing in on a 100-yard game. And that's the magic number for a running back. Anytime you get to that triple digits, that's all you're looking for. But he's got a chance to really exceed that in this one. Yeah, he does. That, that's been the gold standard for a long time, has it, that 100-yard mark. It really has, and that never has to shift because it's in a game. It's a thousand yard mark. I'm wondering since we've gone from 12 to 14 to 16 games, maybe we need to up that a little. This is Harris. And they'll take him down at the 31 yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and one, and people want to run the football. This is where every back in the league is supposed to do exactly what we just saw there. Pick up the first down. On first down, Jones. That's complete into the hands of Myers. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pickup there, 21 yards. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. they got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Oh, that was a thing of beauty right there. Look at how quick those blockers fired off the line once the ball was snapped. That was an O-line on a mission, all in sync, and the defense is lucky that play only picked up five yards. Second and five now. Jones, the connection here with Nelson Aguilar. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 33. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Good, strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They run with Harris. And he's able to work his way down inside the red zone to the 19-yard line. 111 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He finds his man complete. It's Myers. And the Patriots are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. Off the play fake, Jones. And that is caught by the bank judge right there to stay in. Now that Patriots sideline not happy with what just transpired, and they're going to throw out the challenge flag. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call. So not successful there on the challenge. And he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. And that is caught. And the record is his. It's a touchdown. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Full connects on the extra point, and the route is on here in this first half. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. 
The Bengals drive about to get going. See if they can put this drive in the end zone, Charles, because it, it's been a little bit of a rough go at times. They've had to punt the football a ton in this ball game because of stalled out drives. So are you saying that you're kind of tired of seeing the punter run out there and do his thing during this game? Is that what you're trying to say? Yeah, well, I mean, I'm okay with it. I have a feeling that this offense, they don't want to see the punter again. And frankly, the punter doesn't want to run out there anymore himself. He would love to see his offense put together a drive and give his leg a rest. Play action. It's Burrow. Rolling to his left. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. It looks like a loss of right around a there on first down to set him back on second. Well, Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. It's a gain of seven on the carry, but they'll need to double that here. It's third and 14. Burrow looking to pass. And this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down, as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, this first half has not gone according to plan so far offensively or even defensively for that matter. They could use a big-time spark somewhere, but it's not going to come on this drive as they have to punt this one away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. New England trotting into place on offense. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And, partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. Obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. Jones throw there, taken in by Smith. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. This is Harris. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four on second down. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Again, it's Harris on second down. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. 34 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. Well, if they continue to run the football this strong right up the middle, I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right at them and right up the middle. And this a leaping effort, but it's knocked away and incomplete. The secondary has been roasted in this first half, and they get a measure of revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that in order to get their confidence fully back, but that's one step in the proper direction. Deep here for Parker. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Good defensive call right there because they had so much shadowing him along his entire route. And he was right there ready to provide a hit that prevents him from making another catch to his big start. Call it a gain of five. Fourth down now. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. And a little 
little too much mustard on that one. It hits a couple yards into the end zone. A missed opportunity there maybe to pin them back. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And right now these guys, they're shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting because three straight drives have ended with them punting the football away. Yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down your playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try and fashion together a drive. So eight yards on the completion there. And they'll be left with second and a couple. Inside handoff to Mixon. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook, go play action, toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down, keep the sticks moving. Back to Mixon on first down. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. 85 catches for him on the year now, and the result there is a first down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll check in with Jonathan Coachman from Orlando. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half of play. Burrow's throw going to be caught by Boyd. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. And they go play action now. Burrow. This one caught to the field by Higgins. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Now it's Burrow. That's the tight end, Hurst, with it. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. Throwing again, it's Burrow to mix it on the check down. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. Ninth play coming up here on this drive. This is third and a yard. Burrow will throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Sometimes it's just not your day. There's another failure right there on third down. McPherson's kick is good. And now they'll just need four touchdowns as the deficit is now 28. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. Now the Patriots gearing up to go now. And not an abundance of time remains on the clock, Charles, but you would think more than enough to try to extend this lead before intermission. And when you're talking about extending the lead, I think you're talking about aiming for the end zone because there is plenty of time for that. The fallback is to get three. But in your mind, you put six on the board right before the half. That's a heck of a dagger and great momentum to carry into the locker room. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That one covers 24 yards. It's a first down. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this or keeps hitting the calculator. But my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. Jones now. On first and ten, complete, it's Henry. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. They go play action here on first down. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there. 
there, and that one winds up incomplete. It sort of looks like they still have some fight in them on this series because it seemed like things were headed for the red zone. But if this defense gets two more stops, they can keep them out of that area. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. So we are at halftime here on Christmas Eve. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Charles in a minute. But first, time to give the folks at home a look at what's going on around the NFL. Some great games coming up on Sunday, highlighted by a 1 o'clock matchup in Miami. A good test for the Dolphins as they'll take on the always tough Green Bay Packers. Excellent games in the late afternoon window as well. One being out in Los Angeles, where it'll be the Rams taking on the Denver Broncos. Then on Sunday night, wrap up your Christmas day with a great one in the NFC, the Bucks and Cardinals at 820 Eastern time. Meanwhile, our game has been a boat race, very one-sided to this point. And for the call of the second half, Let's get it back to our commentating team of Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, thanks as always to you and the gang in Orlando as we welcome everyone back in for quarter number three. The box set to get the football first, and they trail here as we get started in the second half. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bengals drive about to get going. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done. And, and now a fumble. The ball's out. Oh, he's got some breathing room. Fresh out of the locker room, they hit him with a gain of over 20. So they escape, so to speak, maintaining the football. Defensively, though, opportunity miss. It definitely was because that's all defenses talk about, getting the football and either advancing it the other way or just getting possession and turning it over to their offense. That can be a little bit deflating. You're exactly right, a lost opportunity. From midfield now, Burrow. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. To the air again, Burrow. He's got his big tight end, that's Hurst. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. To throw again on second down. Burrow. And that went too far in front. He couldn't reel it in. It's incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And that's good for a gain of six. And it'll be fourth down. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. So on fourth down, off goes Burrow. On comes Evan McPherson for the Bengal field goal. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. McPherson's kick is good. And that drops the deficit from 28 to 25. I'm kind of surprised by that, that they kicked the field goal. I guess you get some points, but this deficit third quarter, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah, I'm with you on that one. When you're down that much, kicking a field goal, does it feel a little bit maybe waving the white flag the way, yeah, and just want to get that. out of here? Yeah, I, I think you got to go ahead and try and get some bigger points on the board. And this will come out to the 25 as Jones elects for the touchback. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. 
And the first half definitely went their way, and this would seem to be a great opportunity to kind of put this game a little closer out of reach with a score here. Yeah, and it's a wonderful opportunity for them because if they can add seven more to their lead before the other guys even see the football, that could be the decisive blow in this game. I think that's how they're eyeing it. That's how they're approaching it. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets them to second and four. Off play action, Jones. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. Oh, a leap, and he will make the catch. And he will step out of bounds here inside the 30. A big play there for New England, 41 yards. When they needed a play this year, he's certainly been the guy to deliver it. As this season has gone on, he's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. Oh, now a running play here with Smith. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Here's Jones on first down. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. He did a fine job there of not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. Instead, in this case, timed it perfectly and knocked it free. That's Aguilar with it on the jet sweep. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Nelson Aguilar, his first touchdown on the year. And the Pats extend their lead yet again. So that CD, that was impressive. He got out of three, maybe four tackles there on his way to the end zone. And a lot of times when you break a tackle or slip a tackle, it actually slows you down. That's what we were taught. If you don't make the play, make him stop his feet so someone else can get there and tackle him. But not here. He just kept right on going. Fulk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bengals drive about to get going. Well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here, maybe beating the traffic in order to get home or to their final destination? Uh, yeah, I don't think there's a whole lot of reason to hang around, especially if they can't score here. Yeah, you're right about that because it has been pretty clear who the better team has been in this one. And in a league that we talk about every game being a one-score game as we go into it, watching this blowout, let's just say it's been unusual. They will throw on first down with Burrow. Quick slant caught by Chase. On the move past the 40. Still going inside the 20. Touchdown! Jamar Chase, 64 yards. And the Bengals are able to cut into that deficit. And sometimes those slants, they can be so tough to defend after the catch. It, it, it just happens so quickly. And really, it what gets set up there is how quickly everything happens. Ball's out of the hands of the passer in a hurry, and he just takes it and goes. And he went all the way into the end zone. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that will cut this lead down to 25. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. 
On the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. And he'll wind up getting a couple extra yards here for his trouble to bring it out of the end zone as he's down at the 27. And now out come the Patriots. Still comfortably on top, third quarter, as they start things here with a first and ten. And they'll start the drive here with an end around. And he's got some space here. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones in a first down. This is one of those plays that has an equal chance of either being a big gain or a big loss. But with the college influence, we're seeing more of these plays come into the NFL. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. To the right side, this is Stevenson. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Meanwhile, Jones throw into the hands of Henry here. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 38-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 12-yard line. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 61 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. A lot to praise on this drive, obviously. I, I know you're seeing what I'm seeing. Those guys up front, they're getting it done. Doesn't matter what play is called. They are handling their business at the line of scrimmage and dominating. Right There's Henry. Touchdown, Patriots. A one-yard touchdown pass. And the Patriots just continue to roll. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. And I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked through his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Extra point up and good by Folk. And the lead grows even larger here in the third quarter. Folk now set to boot it after his guys put six on the board. From the end zone, here comes Williams. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they look up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Jalen Mills hit on the stop. You don't see that a ton, do you? A cornerback coming over to the middle of the field to make a run tackle. That's someone with a ton of confidence to feel like nothing is pressuring him on his side of the field. Sees that the ball's moved to the middle and just sprints over there to help out. He ends up getting the tackle. Well played. Ten yards there and a Bengal first. Throwing now. Burrow on first down. Oh, he dropped it. And that's pretty indicative of the way this one's gone. 
An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Mixing up the middle. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. That's caught over the middle by Hurst. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. So now on comes the field goal unit. And wow, this is no ordinary try here. This officially a 55-yard attempt. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in doubt. And that will knock this down to still a very large 29-point deficit. So his third field goal of the ball game brings him a bit closer, but there's no question. They need to start turning some of these threes into sixes. And sevens and probably even eights. You know, as a kicker, you just head out when you're called upon, so he's done his job. It's the rest of the offense that needs to get it in gear. They want to close this gap. New England's offense set to go. Well, they got to be thrilled with how they've operated so far in this one. They've got the nice lead, and now a chance to score here on three straight possessions. Yeah, and the way that they are rolling, I just don't know how they get slowed down because they certainly are operating at peak efficiency right now. They might want to think about giving some of their backups a little bit of work, though. Let some other guys get on the field and do their thing and save some of this for the next time out. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Not too many more ideal situations at second and two in order to try and pick up a first down. They ran it and picked it up. On first and ten, it's strong. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for 13 and a New England first down. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? Now Jones throwing on first down. It's caught by Aguilar. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. Well, up big, but still not hesitating to take some shots downfield, CD. I guess they really want to hammer home their dominance in this one. Yeah, that much is apparent, partner. If they keep completing throws like that, they'll keep that gap awfully wide as they've established already. And he'll go down at the 28. Now, that was an excellent run. And when you see that happen, that's when you're seeing guys doing their job and then some people doing a little bit more. Offensive linemen and tight ends, they're expected to block. But the wide receivers, all they want to do is catch passes. So when they block on a big-time running play and create extra space, you've got to hit the jackpot there. Now a play fake here on first down. This one swung outside to Strong. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. He's having a nice game through the air. His decision-making's been really good. Solid there again. Just seeing nothing downfield goes underneath. Nice game. How about the patience? Because when you're having a big game through the air, you're looking for those chunk plays, those big ones downfield. Instead, as you noted, takes the check down, dumps it off, gains good yardage anyway. Really well executed. to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Looking to throw. Jones finds Strong in the check down. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. This offense so far on third down, they've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and five. Along the sideline, Strong brings it in. It'll wind up being stopped for no gain, and it'll lead to a 
fourth down. The folks, kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And Williams going to sit on this one. It'll be a touchback. The Bengals set to take over. But we said it at halftime that they would need a nearly perfect second half to erase that deficit that they were facing cd but unfortunately the second half has pretty much been a carbon copy of the first yeah that early lead was almost insurmountable the way their opponent was playing and partner they do have some good news though this one is getting close to being over and they can try and hit the reset button starting tomorrow an incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. here's burrow and he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. They'll try and throw forward with Burrow. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. And he is going to have the Bengals first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. And he goes down. It's a Patriot sack. Christian Barmore getting in there to drop him. Guys with his talent in the pocket aren't supposed to be getting hit like this, and you know an intense conversation with the offensive line is going to occur after this one. Might not be from him, but the offensive line coach will have plenty to say about this game. Here we go, here we go. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. From the shotgun, it's Burrow to the right side and complete to Hurst. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And they're going to be staring at a third and long here. Now Burrow. Again, that's Hurst. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Brandon, a good idea there on third down. Run a little clear out. Hope you can get your receiver the ball coming across the formation. Nice design, but well played defensively, and they stop him well short. It's Burrow on fourth down. That's into a crowd and intercepted. It's Kyler Duggar who picks it. And the Pats will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. We'll get another look at Devontae Parker and the Patriot offense. They might want to mix something up defensively because he's been shredding them a bit, hasn't he? That he has in... Even with all the changes that you know are going on on the defensive side of the ball, he's still finding ways to get open, finding the right spots, and the delivery's been pretty good, too. He's over 100 yards, has the one touchdown score to this point. On second and seven, Jones. And he finds Parker here, complete. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. Stevenson now on first and 10. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. It carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. 
To throw once more on second and ten. Jones going to throw deep for the end zone. And a high throw there as this is knocked away down to the ground and incomplete. I think it's fairly safe to call this game over, but they're still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. And this will not get close to the first down marker as he's brought down at the 26. Give him two yards on that play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Folks, kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, the only silver lining on the other sideline, CD, is that they kept him out of the end zone, but still, that's another three points added on to this large lead. He had no shortage of scoring or big plays on defense in this one, and even up by four possessions, still finding ways to create opportunities and capitalize with points. The Bengals drive about to get going. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? We see it all the time, don't we? The defense goes from losing to battle to making a huge play and stealing the momentum. So you know they're riding high right now, and they're ready to challenge this offense and that quarterback one more time. And we'll see if the offense is up for that challenge here as things start to get more interesting here in this second half. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. Throw left side here, taken in by Asiasi, the tight end. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. 38-yard line, second and 11. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Open man is Asiasi, the tight end. And this will be good for a pickup of nine to the 46. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, now Burrow. Open man, it's complete to Higgins. And he is gonna have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This is Mixon on the draw, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. He'll find his tight end here, Asiasi. So back to back plays, each get nothing. They're going to look to throw. Over the middle, complete. It's Taylor. And he'll get this only to about the 38 as they stop him a few yards shy of the line to gain. And this is going to wind up well. Well struck, but it's no good. And they will remain well, well behind. McPherson, as a rookie last year, made a league-leading nine kicks from 50-plus yards and added to it in the playoffs with some other big kicks to help propel his team to the Super Bowl. But that time, unable to convert. And across midfield, he goes and into Bengal territory. A good run got seven on first. Here's second and three. They run once more with Stevenson. And this time, he's able to take it down to the 42. Six yards, the pick up, and that's a first down. Throwing Jones. Gets it to Strong. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. When you have someone throwing it that well, that confidently, you don't have to call the game in fear at all, do you? You just go ahead and play. Yep, confidence with a lead to throw it here in the fourth, and boom, he's on the money. Yeah, you don't have to tuck your head in and take look like turtle at this point. You just go ahead and play. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Brings up second and 11. 
Now Jones. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. And this offense on third down today, they've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This is third and 11. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. But they'll get 10 there, but it leaves them just short for fourth down. Well, they don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. They'll go with Strong. And they got it inside the 10 at the 8. And we are inside of two minutes left in this lopsided affair. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. And they'll indeed take a knee. Moved back to the 10. They'll try on second and goal here. And they will take a knee here. And now can they reverse the trend on third and goal with the last two plays having gone backwards. Clock counting down toward 40 seconds as they take the knee. So on fourth down, Jones jogs off, and on comes a longtime vet, Nick Folk, for the Pats field goal try. From the left hash, a chip shot here. And the 14-year trusty veteran able to knock it through. kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way, if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. It's a squibber picked up around the 27. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it up past the 35. Of course, they have the option, and they choose to not take the penalty. They like the results of the play that they just ran, and they elect to let them stand. A final shot now for Burrow. And that went a little too high as it's knocked away and incomplete. So this will wind up a victory for the New England Patriots. And it was a game where they were off and running in the first quarter, Charles, and never looked back. You know, partner, after a while, we always say the same thing, don't we? They set the tone early, right? They started fast. So I asked a few of my horse racing friends, do you have a term for me that we can use to cover that? And they said, yeah. When a horse breaks out like that, you say he caught a flyer out of the gate. And that's exactly what this team did today. I mean, they jumped out there, jumped on them, and were never headed. So for New England, they are now two wins away from a perfect regular season as they move to 15-0. and And they'll have another home date next week as the Miami Dolphins come to town. Meanwhile, for Cincinnati, it's a tough blow to their playoff aspirations as they drop to 9-6. and six. And they will get a home date next week as they will take on the Buffalo Bills. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.